Hey everybody, I'm going to be reviewing the Panasonic Arc Shaver today. It actually says Precision Shaving and Trimming. And since I usually give myself my own haircuts with the number one, I'm kind of excited because I didn't even know it had that uh, feature. It just comes with the shaver, the power cord, but the thing that's got me as excited is it does come with these two adjustable attachments to put on. And this one's a setting one, two, three. I usually use a uh, number one with my uh, trimmer to shave my head. It actually raises the guard or lowers it according to the setting. And it's got one through this one's five, six, and seven if you need to use a trimmer. So that's kind of exciting. It's got the oil, which I'm sure anybody who trims their own hair knows that's what you put on the blades. I'm trying out my first uh, foil shaver. I think it's just called a. Uh, uh, where's the diagram on the back here? It actually has it. It says ultra thin foil system. So, for optimal, Let's see what other that's pretty much the main extra feature. It's also a wet dry shaver. So, I'm gonna go in the restroom and I'll do the dry shave first, then the wet shave on each half of my face. And then I'll shave my head with the uh, number one attachment and see how that does. All right, here we go with the dry shave. I did plug it in for, it takes an hour to, for the initial charge. It is fully charged, so here we go with the uh, dry shave. Alright, so you can see how smooth my uh, face is so far. I'm actually pretty surprised. I was pretty skeptical because I'm used to the three little circle shavers. I don't remember what they're called, but uh, it's giving me a really close shave so far. So I have to definitely give the uh, thin foil razors a bump over the uh, circular shaver so far. And I'm taking real slow strokes against the grain, just completely against the grain.
Okay, well that's pretty much all she wrote for the uh, dry shave. I am pretty surprised that to shave a bit closer than the uh, circular tri-blade razors, electric razors. But uh, I am a straight razor. I just like the Gillette powered, battery powered five blade razors, razor handles. I use the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide and the G uh, Gillette Fusion 5 Pro Glide now. Just think those are hard to beat, but if I was gonna buy an electric razor, I would definitely go with this uh, ultra thin foil one, especially since it comes with the trimmer attachment, which as you can see, I always shave my head with the number one, so I'm gonna try that out in, out in a bit. So on to the uh, wet shave. All right, on to the wet shave. I'm all lubed up. I rinsed with the uh, warm water. I'm use my Gillette gel shaving cream because I like the Gillette products. This thing is pretty easy to clean. You just uh, pop this off, dump it in the trash, blow it out. Anyways, here we go with the wet shave. <clears throat> Let's see if you can uh, see this. It's a little patchy with the wet shave. Uh, I'm not as impressed as with the dry shave, but uh, anyways, like I said, I'm a straight razor handle type of guy. So you're just not going to get as close of a shave with an electric razor, but I would definitely take this one for the uh, dry shave or the uh, tri blade razors. I was pretty impressed with how close the uh, dry shave was, so on to the trip. 
Okay, so some more quick tips. Here's the... Well, when you're shaving it, sit on your neck. You're supposed to pull the skin tight to try to get the beard to stick out when you're shaving. But it does have this built-in pop-up trimmer for a beard. Or right, just to trim the odds and ends. Feels like it gets pretty close to the skin. Anyways, the uh, attachments I were talking about are actually beard trimmers. But you just pop that out and they clip right on here. And then you can measure the height. I'm going to go ahead and shave my head just to see how durable it is. I've got it on the number one setting because that's what I usually shave my head with. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to finish shaving with my uh, hair trimmer that I usually use on the number one because I should have looked at this closer, but the number one setting is not the same as the number one attachment for a hair trimmer. So I usually don't shave my hair this short, but so it is getting bogged down a little bit, but you can see it is shaving it pretty good if I just go slow. So it would, would work really excellent as a bear trimmer, which is actually what it's intended for. So. Okay, so I'm all done shaving my head with my normal trimmer. This one, um, I was really surprised with the dry shave. I got a really close shave with the dry shave. And it's got this trimmer plus an adjustable, the one that I showed you, which obviously says one, two, three, but the number one is not the normal, number one attachment you put on a hair trimmer, uh, as you guys seen, but this makes me think that this would be the perfect electric shaver for a goatee though because you can get a really close shave with the dry shave and then you can trim your goatee to pretty much any length you want. So I am going to jump online and get some prices on it. Hey everybody, I said I'd jump online and give you some prices real quick. My online camera is having a little bit of trouble so it's guess it's just not my day for recordings but anyways here is the one I ordered on Best Buy it's actually $69.99 which after looking around isn't that much because if you go over to Amazon.com it is the same exact price I believe
it in here real quick. And it is right here. Oh wow, looks like it's really cheap on Amazon.com. That is not the right one. Yes, oh, yes, ESLL41K3999 on Amazon.com. ESLL41K, it's $69.99 on Best Buy. So if you go to Walmart.com, it's actually pretty outrageous, which is kind of surprising. So, looks like it's still got my saved search on here. You go down here to Panasonic. Yes, here it is. ESLL41K, so you just got to remember that ESLL41K. It is $102 at Walmart.com, which is kind of insane. So, ESLL41K. ESLL41K. So, there you go. There's a heck of a deal. $39.99 on Amazon.com. I wouldn't buy it anywhere else. Um, it's, uh, pretty dynamic all-in-one razor. I thought it was ex an extremely close shave for a dry shave, so I'll definitely buy this if I was going to buy an uh, electric razor. Plus it comes with the uh, extra attachments if you want to shave your head. Um, it's got the extra pop-out beard trimmer. And I love Amazon because even if I'm not going to buy something on Amazon, I usually go here for the reviews. The ratings actually aren't the best, even though it's got 4.4 out of 5 stars overall. Some of the people complain about it. Looks like it might not have the longest life for a razor, but overall it's a pretty solid buy. Um, if you're going to shave your head, I would just go by the individual reviews. The load, one guy down here, where'd he go? He actually had a picture. I think it must have been on the next page. And of course, now I can't find it. Let's see if it's on the next page. There he is, right here. This guy loves it for shaving his head, no irritation. He gave it uh, five stars. Um, I give it over four stars, four and a half for, as far as electric razors are concerned. Like I said, I was pretty surprised with how good it did compared to the uh, a circular blade razor. So there you go.